Today, we are going to be talking about twin flames. And I know that this concept sounds like it's so romantic, but I would not wish this on my worst enemy. A twin flame relationship holds your feet to the fire and I am speaking from experience. So today I'm gonna to share my story about twin flames, what they are, what they aren't, and dispel some myths. Are you ready? I'm including twin flames in this section, soul contracts, instead of in soulmates, because I think that twin flames are a little bit more of a predestined contract. So what is a twin flame? Sounds exotic and exciting, like I want one, <laughs> but this is about awakening and it will not be a smooth path. Remember when I showed you the branch with the 15 or so leaves on it, your closest soulmates? Well, that's a perfect visual. A twin flame is in that group for sure. We experience a separation not only from source, but also from our twin. And this separation creates an inner hunger for wholeness and is why we search for romance and relationships. Because when you truly re reunite, you feel that you are one complete soul. Both souls understand and feel the significance of the connection even if they've never been exposed to the idea before. A twin flame is a mirror connection. Each soul is a mirror reflection of the other, and it doesn't have to be male or female, but the energy is masculine and feminine. So as you now understand, you have been both male and female, and your soul has a signature that it brings here in this lifetime. Your soul in this lifetime may have chosen a male body, but brought in a female signature. Perhaps you have mostly incarnated as a female and you have chosen to be male, but your energy says otherwise. I do think that the majority of the times twin flames would appear as physically opposite sexes. In any case, you are mirrors of each other, and this reflects both the weaknesses and the strengths of the other. You have agreed in this lifetime to partner for a very special purpose. You have a contract to come together to combine your energies to create something that you could only create with your energies together and you could not create alone. This may have to do with the evolutionary stage of the souls who are choosing to bring in this twin flame energy, as all souls would not be ready for this type of work. Twin flames have only been recently incarnating together. In the past, one would stay on the other side, guiding the other. And it used to be that the energy of both souls combining in a human incarnation was too tenuous and combustible. But as we are moving into a new 5D or five dimension energy, the world needs all the help it can get. And these evolved and connected pairs have agreed to incarnate together to help accelerate the process of changing the energy here on earth from a more materialistic society to a more cooperative one. Since a twin flame connection is all about energy, there is one special requirement that these souls must accomplish and complete before they can find each other or they cannot come together or more importantly, stay together in this incarnation to do their job. They must bring their A game. Their work seems to be a higher calling that holds a lot of importance. And there's a lot of spiritual help and energy from the other side surrounding twin flames, which might also feel like pressure to the souls involved. That means that in order to accomplish and fulfill the contract, each soul must be doing or must have done the work to raise their individual vibration to become the highest version of themselves to come together and stay together without one of them running. And since they are mirrors of each other, there's nowhere to hide. Your twin flame sees you. And the more evolved or awake one will step up and require the other to do the work to meet them where they are. Remember that on a soul level, they have the same frequency and vibration, but there can be differences between them as a result of the incarnation. 
This is one of the most intense connections you will ever experience. Twin flames can be parents and children who do not come together romantically or partners who often do. I'll give you three examples. Edgar Casey was a well-known clairvoyant in the early 1900s who said that he was receiving messages from his higher self. He would put himself in a trans-like state to give the reader messages. Casey would answer questions on subjects as varied as healing, reincarnation, dreams, the afterlife, past lives, nutrition, Atlantis, and future events. He acted as a medical intuitive, often giving people complex diagnoses with only an eighth, eighth grade education. His secretary, Gladys Turner, was his protector, and she transcribed over 14,000 sessions. They were never romantic, and he was shown that she was his twin flame. They combined their energies to work together to help heal many, many people. And when Edgar Casey died in 1945, he left behind a school and a hospital. Edgar Casey was also shown that his wife and their son together were twin flames. It's also said that Jesus and his mother Mary were twin flame connections. As your soul evolves, you begin to remember your connection to source and you start to wake up and you realize that you can no longer continue on a path of separation. At that point, you remember that you're here for a bigger purpose. You long for connection. And it is during this time that you begin to call in your twin flame. And that can be a big reason why twin flames come together later in life. Reunion can bring with it a feeling of joy, bliss, heightened love, and even ecstasy as a reunion like this would exceed anything physically that you had ever experienced with another. Finding your twin does not guarantee this. It only sets the stage for it to happen. Twin flames are highly evolved soul connections, but with the contract comes a tremendous amount of pressure. Pressure to combine energies. Pressure to hold yourself to a higher standard. Pressure to do a job. And you are human now and your free will can and often does trump contract alone. This is a relationship that will be on another level and won't necessarily follow the rules of traditional relationships, which are primarily ego-based and fear-driven. If one or both of you are in other relationships, those res relationships will fall away. And if you are destined to meet a twin flame, you will. There's no searching required. And actually, I really wouldn't wish this connection on anyone. I've been told by four separate intuitives that my love mark was a twin flame connection. And that makes sense because I can clearly see the projects that we're collaborating on, especially now with hindsight. My 400 paintings and over 1400 spiritual articles and our books, Science Around You, Love Never Dies. And definitely this course. But when I had a reading with an oracle in 2018, she explained twin flames from a perspective I had never heard. She said that there were seven levels of evolvement that a twin flame realm going all the way to the most highly evolved higher self. And at that time, I had been in a newer relationship for six months. And within three minutes of sitting down, this oracle brought him up and she said that he was a twin flame. CJ Martis, the angel connector, had three months earlier also named my new boyfriend as a twin flame connection. She told me his astrological sign, the ages and genders of each of his three kids, and said that he was a twin flame. Now, I truly believe he was a twin flame connection, and it was, again, no prompting that confirmed many times by Stephen the Medium, Thomas, John, Mariah, and three others in addition to CJ and the Oracle, again, with absolutely no inquiry from me. So I'm going to talk about the true identity of Mark and my connections in the next video, Fused Flames. But first, I want to explain why I do believe my last boyfriend, Wiley, was a twin flame connection. Well, first of all, we met in a very unusual place. We met at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. We had 
more things in common than anybody I have ever encountered. I mean, from really simple idiosyncrasies all the way to the types of foods that we liked and the types of activities we like to partake in. There were so many similarities that I really felt like he was another half of my soul. Then we began building a business together. And I believe that that was part of our job that we were supposed to probably use our medicine journeys to help bring other people to those processes. And we had this business where we were helping to change the energy of the world. Certainly our San Pedro experience of seeing our energy cords together was a confirmation. And then we had a mushroom journey. It was my very first mushroom journey ever. And we did it together. He helped me go into this space where we were in this place that was, I don't know, kind of almost like being in outer space. But as soon as I got there, I realized that we were not two separate souls. We were merged together as one soul. And we began communicating in that place telepathically. And I was saying to him, are you experiencing this? Are we one soul? Like, what is going on? And then when we came out, we both had the exact same experience. We both remembered being the same soul together. And we went in and out of this place many times over that mushroom journey. And it felt like a very sacred journey and connection. And at the end of it, he said to me, I don't think it matters if we didn't see each other for 50 years my feelings for you would be just as strong 50 years from now as they are at this exact moment. Well, he knew it and I knew it. We both knew that we were true twin flame connections. Unfortunately, with that connection came so much energy and so much pressure that it ultimately caused him to not stay. He became the runner. The expression of our energy was just too much for him. And for these reasons, I would say that I would not wish the intensity of a twin flame connection on anyone. Finding one's twin flame is a very unique experience that feels unlike any other relationship. Hearing that label might actually be a relief for you. A relief in that there is a name for this crazy connection that explains the uniqueness of what a twin flame is. Most often, soulmate connections will last longer and will be more rewarding than the electrifying and often stormy pairings of twin flame relationships. Often one or both souls will at some point want to run from it because this type of awakening can be very painful, yet they must transform to keep evolving with one another. One twin may at some point choose not to stay. Free will always has the final stay, but even when it feels like it's over, it never really is. A connection of this magnitude brings with it a bond that cannot be broken. Any ending between twin flames is just an illusion. Twin souls may not choose to stay together physically in this incarnation, but we'll still feel each other regardless of the time or distance. Your twin flame gets under your skin and will not leave your thoughts, probably ever. This is by design because there is a unique contract between the two of you, even after death. Twin flames are a highly charged partnership and the two must be spiritually ready for it to last. When they are, the union will transcend all others. Are you experiencing a twin flame connection? These are some of the signs that you can look for. An overwhelming attraction to another that feels magnetic, and it doesn't have to be a romantic attraction. A destined meeting in a very unusual place or unusual circumstance. An immediate and intense connection that is unstoppable. My twin flame likened it to feeling like he was being hit by a freight train. (laughs) An urge to enter into a relationship with one another, regardless of what your current relationship status is. Synchronistic events surrounding your connection. I saw my twin flame's license name on a license plate five times. Frequent sightings of 1111, 222, 3333, etc. 
many, many similarities to one another. The same birthday, the same upbringing, an ability to feel what the other feels, an uncanny knowing about the other. In a physical connection, the experience is intense. Pain, pain, and more pain. Shared non-physical experiences like dreams. My sister was in a twin flame relationship, and when he was sleeping, when she was sitting next to him awake, she could see his dreams. And when he would wake up, she would immediately ask him about them, and he would confirm that, yes, she did indeed see his dreams. Requiring that your twin hold themselves to a higher standard. Helping each other to become the best version of yourselves. Multifaceted connection, meaning best friend, lover, business partner, therapist, teacher, confidant. You feel more in your skin in the presence of this person than you've ever felt being around anybody else. Soul starts awakening or accelerates the spiritual growth. The intensity of the connection produces an awakening in one or both. And ultimately love with non-attachment, which I think may be the most difficult to achieve.